Hi guys, in this video, we are going to solve problems applying the concept of law of sine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with the first problem. A pole tilts toward the sun at an 8 degree angle from the vertical and it casts a 22 foot shadow. The angle of elevation from the tip of the shadow to the top of the pole is 43 degrees. How tall is the pole? Okay, so dito na nakalagay na yung illustration. Ano? Kasi kung i-illustrate ko mas uh, medyo hindi clear. At least dito provided na nandito yung illustration, i-explain ko na lang kung paano ba nangyari itong illustration na to. Okay, so sabi sa problem, yung pole nag-tilts toward the sun at an angle 8 degrees. Okay, so ito yung pole with respect to the vertical. So nag-tilt siya so, pa para papalapit sa araw. Okay, so ang measure ng angle na na-form dun sa vertical line at yung pole ay 8 degrees. Ito yung 8 degree angle. And then, itong pole, nag-cast ng shadow na 22 feet. So, yan. 22 feet yung shadow ng pole. And then, the angle of elevation from the tip of the shadow to the top of the pole is 43 degrees. So, alam naman natin ang angle of elevation. It is the angle formed by the line of sight and the horizontal line. So, ito yon. So, ang measure nito, 43 degrees from the tip of the shadow to the top of the pole. So, may kita yun dyan. So, ang measure, 43 degrees. So, ang hinahanap sa problem ay yung height ng pole. So, paano natin makukuha yung height ng pole? So, may kita mo dito sa illustration, yung A is opposite ng angle 43 degrees. So, and then we have 22 feet na given. So, meaning, pwede natin gamitin ang law of sign para mag makuha natin si value ng A, yung height ni pole. As long as makukuha natin yung measure ni angle C. Okay. So, possible naman na makuha yung angle C kasi mayroon tayong triangle and mayroon tayong isang angle dito. Then, itong angle na to, makukuha natin. Kasi makikita nyo, we have a vertical line here and then the horizontal line. This is, so right angle siya. So, ang measure niya, 90 degrees. Ito, 90 degrees. Then, we have 8 doon. So, 90 plus 8. Ang measure ng buong angle ay 98 degrees. Okay. So, makukuha na natin si angle C. Alam natin, ang sum ng measure ng angle ng triangles ay 180. So, we have C is equal to 180 minus uh, 98 plus 43. And the answer is 180 degrees minus... 141 It is equal to 39 degrees Okay, yung C natin Yung angle C, 39 degrees Yung opposite side niya, 22 feet Then we have A Then ang opposite angle niya, 43 degrees So gagamitin na natin yung law of sine So using law of sine So ano nga yung ulit yung law of sine Diba ang law of sine natin is A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. Okay, kasi yung uh, gagamitin natin information based on sa problem, doon sa illustration. So, simple substitution, A is missing. So, we have A over sine. What is our A? Angle A is 43 degrees. Equals, then C, 22 feet, divided by sine ang angle C natin is 39 degrees. Then, to solve for A, cross multiply, we have A sine 39 degrees equals 22 sine 43 degrees. Okay, to solve for A, divide both sides by sine 39. So, we have 22 sine 43 degrees all over sine 39 degrees. Then, the answer is, using your calculator, that is 23.84. 23.84. So, therefore, the height of the pole is 23.84 feet. So, this is the answer to this problem. Okay, let's have the second problem. 
The course for a boat race starts at point A in the figure below and proceeds in the direction 52 degrees west of south to point B. Then in the direction 40, 40 degrees east of south to point C and finally back to A. Point C lies 8 kilometers directly south of point A. Then approximate the total distance of the race course. So yung problem na ito, ang tawag dito ay bearing problem. So yung bearing is the angle formed by clockwise rotation that starts from the north. Okay, from the vertical. So, nandito na yung illustration. So, pero ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano naging ganyan yung illustration. Okay. So, gawa lang tayo ng Cartesian plane. Ito yung ating north, west, east, and south. And then, yung origin, yun yung magiging position ni A. Okay. Then, sabi, yung position ni B ay from A, 40, uh, 52 degrees west of south. So, southwest. So, ito yung 52 degree angle. Then, mag-start palagi sa vertical. So, sa south. Dito. So, yan. Ito yung 52 degrees. Okay? So, ito na yung B. Si B na yan. So, paano naman natin makukuha yung position ni C? Okay. So, gan ganun ulit yung gagawin. Mag dito sa B, magdodraw ka ng Cartesian plane. Yan. yan ganyan. And then, sabi doon, C is located at 40 degrees east of south. So, ito yung east and ito yung south. Then, ang measure ay 40 degrees. Ayan. So, ito yung C. So, ito yung 40 degrees. So, palaging sa vertical yung angle. So, ayan. O, vertical. Then, dito yung vertical. So, sabi doon, and finally back to C. Okay. Ayan. Bumalik sa C. A rather sa A. Bumalik sa A. So, Lagyan natin ng arrow para masabing doon. Vector kasi siya. Then, point C lies 8 kilometers directly south of point A. So, from point A, bababa ka kasi south. Ang distance ay 8 kilometers. So, paano natin makukuha yung uh, total distance? Meaning yung perimeter ng triangle. So, ayan, makikita nyo dito sa illustration na given. So, ganun yung pag-derive dito sa ginawa ko, sa pinakita ko. Okay. So, paano natin gagamitin dito yung law of sign? Diba, mayroong given na 8. So, dapat yung opposite angle niya makuha natin. So, how we are going to find yung angle na to? Angle B. Okay. So, makikita ninyo, we have vertical line and this is also vertical. So, they are parallel lines. Then, itong line, itong parang diagonal line na to, ang tawag dyan, diba, transversal. Alam natin, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, yung alternate interior angles, which is uh, which are ito and ito, ay congruent. Congruent sila. So, therefore, kung ito ay 40, may sure nito, 40 din. So, makukuha na natin si angle B kasi meron na tayong two given angles ng triangle. Okay, so let's solve for angle B. So, B is equal to 180 degrees minus yung 52 degrees plus 40 degrees. So, ganun lang siya. So, ang sagot dyan ay 88. Okay, 88 yan. So, meron na tayong angle B, 88 degrees. So, makukuha na natin si A. Ito yung A natin. Yung opposite ni angle A. Then, ito yung C. So, pag nakuha natin yung value ni A at C, i-add lang siya natin kay 8. Yun na yung approximate distance ng race course. Okay, solve muna natin yung A. So, we have A over sine. What is the angle opposite, opposite side A? So, yung 52. Sine 52 degrees equals itong given 8 over sin aray, itong given na to 88 degrees and so cross multiply a sin 88 degrees is equal to 8 sin 52 degrees and then divide both sides we have a equals 8 sin 
52 degrees over sine 88. So the answer is, so 8 sine 52 divided by sine 88 is 6.308. Approximately 6.308. So, yan yung A. And then, kunin naman natin yung C. So, you have C over the angle opposite ng C ay 40. So, sine 40 degrees is equal to, yun ulit, 8 over sine 88 degrees. Then, cross multiply, we have C sine 88 degrees equals 8 sine 40 degrees. Then, divide both sides by sine 88. Therefore, C equals 8 sine 40 degrees divided by sine 88 degrees. And the answer for this is 5.145. Approximately 5.145. So, yan. May A and C na tayo. So, ano yung total distance? So, the approximate total distance is equal to A plus B plus C. Diba? So, we have A, 6.308 plus ang B natin, syempre itong 8 kilometers plus 8 plus 5.145. And the sum is equal to 19.453. 19.453 so the unit is kilometer so ibig sabihin yung the total distance of the race course is approximately 19.453 kilometers ok let's have the last problem two surveyors Alice and Bob need to determine the height of a steep cliff they stand 50 meters apart where they each have a clear view of the cliff and each other Bob measures an angle of elevation of 61 degrees from the base of the cliff to its highest point. He also measures the angle between Alice and the base of the cliff as 72 degrees. Alice measures the angle between Bob and the base of the cliff as 38 degrees. How tall is the cliff? Okay, so makita natin dito ano, sa illustration. So... Okay. Sabi din dito, uh, Alice and Bob uh, are 50 meters apart. Then, they have a clear view of the cliff, yung distance nila. So, ito si Alice, si Bob, ang distance nila sa isa't isa ay 50 meters. Okay, so 50 meters sila. And then, Bob measures an angle of elevation of 61 degrees from the base of the cliff to the highest point. So, ang assumption dito guys, kung titin ka sa top view, ito ay, ito, itong base na to B to C, then D to C ay perpendicular yan. Okay, so perpendicular siya, so this is the horizontal, this is the line of sight, dun papunta kay D, so ang angle of elevation ay 61 degrees. So, ito yan, ito yung 61 degrees na sinasabi dun sa problem, from the base of the cliff, to the highest point. Then, Bob measures the angle between Alice and the base of the cliff as 72 degrees. So, diba? Ano yung angle na magpo-form from kay Alice dun sa base? So, okay. So, magpo-form ka lang ng angle, diba? From Bob to C dun sa base ng cliff, then from Bob to A yung position ay Alice. So, ang measure ng angle na yun, 72 degrees. Okay? Nasusunda na. So, B to C, yan yung distance from B to C, ay yung base, then B to A to Alice. Ito yung distance. Then, yung angle na na-form ay 72 degrees. Okay. And then, yung last condition dito, Alice measures the angle between Bob and the base of the clip. So, this is Bob. Ito yung ba uh, base ng cliff. So, ano yung angle na na-form? So, ito yun. ba Bob, base, then si Alice. So, si Alice yung nag-measure ng angle doon kay Bob at doon kay base. So, yun ay angle 38 degrees. 
So, ang tanong, how tall is the cliff? Ito yun. Height ng cliff ang hahanapin. So, paano? So, makikita ninyo dito, uh, madaling makuha siya kasi may right triangle tayo. May isang angle, then ito, pwede tayong gumamit ng sukatowa sa part na to. Basta makuha natin itong length na to, yung distance ni Bob sa base ng cliff. Kailan makuha yon? So, ang unang gagaw gagawin natin, igamitin yung law of sine using the information dito sa triangle na to. Okay, so meron tayong 50, 50 meters dito, so kailangan natin makuha to para magamit natin yung law of sine. So, paano ba makukuha tong angle na to? Let's say that is angle C or C sub 1. Sige, gamitin natin C sub 1 yan. Okay. So, makukuha lang siya kapag in mo to, then isusubtract mo siya sa 180. Diba? So, 180 minus 38 plus 72. Okay. So, ang sagot dyan ay 70 degrees. So, ayan. So, 70 degrees na to. So, pwede natin gamitin ang law of sine. So, paano? So, ito. Ito ay A. So, A yung distance na yan. So, we have A over sine opposite angle 38 degrees equals 50 over sign yung given na angle na solve natin 70 degrees so cross multiply we have a sine 70 degrees equals 50 sine 38 degrees divide both sides by sine 70 so a equals 50 sine 38 degrees over sine 70 degrees. So, what is the value of A? So, using your calculator, 50 sine 38 divided by sine 70, that is 32.76 approximately. So, 32.76. So, itong distance na to, ito, A natin, di ba ito yung A? Ito ay 32.76. 76. So, pwede na natin makukuha yung height ng cliff using Sokatoa. So, ang given ay angle, then adjacent side, ang hanapin ay opposite. So, gagamitin natin yung tangent. So, tangent theta is equal to Toa. So, opposite over adjacent. So, substitution, we have tangent. Ang theta natin yung 61 degrees equals opposite yung height. Then, ang adjacent, H here is height, not hypotenuse sa height, height ng cliff. Then, ang adjacent side is yung A, 32.76. So, 32.76. Then, cross multiply. So, have H equals 32.76 times tangent 61 degrees. Yes. Using your calculator, the value of this is 59.10. 59.10 meters. So, therefore, approximately, the height of the cliff is 59.10 meters.